Hi everyone and welcome to a new episode of Echo Base Gaming. Uh, in this video we are going to play a match against each other. Mm -hmm. uh, so I will be playing with uh, Cassian Andor. And what deck did you bring? Uh, I brought my Vader deck. Okay. Um, because you're still training with uh, Cassian, uh, I didn't make the, the most competitive build, mm -hmm. but just something that I thought was fun. So let's see how, uh, how the matchup goes. Yeah, so uh, earlier I did a deck tag on Cassian, so I will uh, put a link on the screen right now. If you haven't seen that uh, already, uh, a link will also be in the description and at the end of this video. Mm -hmm. uh, so in this deck I explained that I wanted to show you guys the starting point of my deck with Cassian Andor and not just the final result after testing and also show you guys the testing with this deck. Mm -hmm. So today is the first of um, a couple of episodes about the training uh, grounds for uh, Cassian Andor. Yeah. And uh, apparently I will uh, play against Darth Vader mm -hmm. in this video. So let's see how it goes. And um, yeah, we will come back to you after we finish the game. Yeah. All right, we shuffled our decks. Yeah. So let's see who gets the initiative. Yeah. We determine that by a high roll. Mm -hmm. Eight, also eight, seven, 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 ten. <laughs> All right, six. Mm -hmm. So I will start with the initiative. Yep. So we each draw six. And then we'll talk about our opening hand. Mm -hmm. Without the other one looking, of course. All right. So if you can close your eyes. So this is my opening hand. As you can see, it's a pretty good starting hand. It's uh, on curve, so low cost and a little bit of uh, high cost cards. Um, so I will keep this hand, obviously. And the two cards that I'm going to resource are... These two. Okay, now I will close my eyes. All right, so this is my opening hand. And what I'm basically looking for in Vader is um, have a one cost to play in the first turn, especially when you don't have the initiative. So you can also use Vader's ability to ping damage and ramp. And seeing that I only have one of those criteria, I will go for a mulligan and hope that I get a better opening hand. Alright, so my second opening hand, a bit closer to the camera, is this. And I will now do these two cards in my resources as they are, one of them I have double in my hand, which I don't need, and they are both high cost. Okay, good luck. You too. So I will start by playing a Partisan Insurgent. Mm -hmm. I'll pay one for Death Star Stormtrooper. Claim the initiative. All right. And I'll do the Vader's ability for one damage to the unit and to the base. And then I'll pass the turn. Okay, draw two. Okay. All 
right. Hopefully an A-Wing. Mm -hmm. I'll attack the base for three. Two, three. I'll also attack the base for three. for the TIE Fighter. Mm -hmm. I'll play one for Bentic. Mm -hmm. I'll play one for one on the A-Wing and one on the base. I will claim the initiative. Yep. I'll pass the turn. Okay. Draw two. Okay. Attack the base for three. Trade with the partisan. Play a fleet lieutenant mm -hmm. to attack the base for four. Activate Cassian's ability. Activate Vader's ability. Mm -hmm. One on the base and one on Bendic two tubes. I'll claim initiative. Yep. And I'll treat with the air wing. Yep. Right. Draw two. Mm -hmm. I'll resource this card. Okay. Attack the snow trooper. Be 
five for seven sister. Mm -hmm. Two for an A wing. Mm -hmm. I will claim it, sir. Okay. Then I will pay three for another lieutenant to do four to the base. Draw two. So five for overwhelming rush. Mm -hmm. So it gets plus two plus two. And then I'll do three damage for five. Okay. for K2 as well. Mm -hmm. Attack the base for five and kill that one. Action. Mm -hmm. Action. One to Cassian and one to the base. Four to the base. And draw a card. In the initiative. Pass. Results. Yeah, ready? Yeah. I'll pay seven for Darth Vader. Mm -hmm. And the plus two, plus two is gone.
With various ability, I get a Salvo Guard. Mm -hmm. And with Peter's Ambush, I will attack Cassian Ember. So, four damage back. A tree for fighters for freedom. Mm -hmm. Attack the base for three and three damage to fighters for freedom. Play one for Heroic Sacrifice to kill the Sablo Guard mm -hmm. and do three damage to the base with Overwhelm. And with Heroic Sacrifice I draw a card. And then when this unit deals combat damage defeated, and then trigger the one defeated ability of K2SO to do three more damage to the base. And did you also do the one for Fighters of Freedom? Not yet, right? Because I played an aggression card. Nope. You don't sacrifice. So one more. Then it's over. Yep. Just in time before Vader hit the board. Mm -hmm. Um, let's check my sideboard. Necessary. This is too slow. I will take out. So I will take out the two bombing runs to include the two four cards I believe in. So I do think, so why I made this switch is because I think that for a cause I believe in is just a better card to guarantee some uh, damage to the base. 
and basically against a deck like Fader, uh, you want to deal damage to the base as quickly as possible. Hopefully before uh, Darth Vader hits the board. And uh, I think for a cause I believe in is better than the Bomb and Run against Vader. Yeah, definitely. Because I do think that the Vader deck uh, becomes scary after uh, seven resources. Mm -hmm. Because then you can play the unit and also uh, the epic action from Vader himself. But I, <clears throat> I would actually argue that for a cause I believe in is better in your main deck rather than the bomber run. Yeah, it is. It's uh, debatable because I don't play that much heroism cards in this deck. A right. lot of cards are Pentacle, only aggression. Pentic two tubes and the part is yeah. yeah. That's why I included in my sideboard. Yeah. I mean, it's still not guaranteed uh, to do three or four damage, but that's why I took out the two bomber runs, aggression only cards. Yeah. And I also believe that uh, my aggression only cards are more early game, like Bentic and the Partisan. So the, the longer the match goes, the more chance I have to reveal uh, heroism cards. Yeah. All right. So I'll start with my opening hand this time. Yeah. And as you can see, it's not the best. Therefore, I will just go for a mulligan. I only have one viable option early. And hopefully this match I will see some ramp. Yeah. Okay, so my hand is a little bit tricky. It's definitely not the best hand. So therefore I will also do a mulligan. Um, too much high cost cards or cards that I want to see later in the game, like the Agitator for instance. All right, so it's actually even worse. I guess this will be a 2-0. Well, my hand is also not ideal. So my hand, as you can see, not a great starting hand, but we'll have to make the best out of this. So, unfortunately, I will resource this card and mm. yeah, it's not a good card. and this card because I play against Vader okay I claim the initiative all right I pass so both of our hands are rubbish yeah but that can happen. So you'll just have to make the best out of it. Resource. All right. I'll pay three for the fifth brother. I will pay three for the fight of freedom. Mm -hmm. I will claim the initiative. Pass. Slowly it gets better. Yep. 
Resource. Alright. Alright. I will pay three to play a super laser technician with ACL. Mm -hmm. And attack for two into your fighters for freedom. Three to the base. Two to the fighters for freedom. Four. So. Mm -hmm. One to the base, one to saw. Clean the initiative. Mm -hmm. um, I will pass. Right. Round two. Yeah, I'll have to. Just a little bit too slow. Okie dokie. Bay three for fleet lieutenants to attack the base for seven. Attack so. All right. Four. Yep. For how much? Oh, wait. That's yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, Cassian's ability. Mm -hmm. Draw cards. Pay three for resupply. Mm -hmm. One for Bantic. Mm -hmm. Feed us epic action. Heavy days, a technician, and resupply. Clean. Pay two for Vader's lightsaber. Then deal four damage. Eight damage to the base, and two to Bantic to chips. Then I'll pass the turn.
full okay to zoom mm -hmm. eight to the base and two to k to zoom Mm -hmm. Six to Cassian. I played Amper um, Palpatine, by the way. the turn. Easels. One for a heroic sacrifice, six to Vader, draw a card, and defeat to the tree to the base. Two for the snow trooper lieutenant. <coughs> Sorry, no. Eight to the base. Three. to the base. Uh, so that's enough. Yep. I'm glad your opening hand was also not too good. Hmm. Shows how strong the resources is. I had the resources. Hmm. Yeah. Especially with the resources. Yeah. All right, my opening hands. So better than last time. So I will keep this hand. And I will resource um, yeah. I'll resource this card and this card. So this is my opening hand. And since I again have no turn one play. I will go for another mulligan. I'm having bad luck today. can see it's even worse than last game but we'll see 
how it goes. I mean, you won last game, so. True, but it couldn't be <laughs> worse than this, to be honest. Okay, yep. Day one for Bentic. Yep. Mm. Claim the initiative. Pass. Draw two. Luckily, I have decent draws this turn. So maybe it can stabilize. Okay. okay. I'll pay three to play the Super Leo Technician with ECL. And indeed, attack Pentic. Fate returns. Mm -hmm. I'll pay one for Fate's ability. Claim the initiative. Alright, I will pass the turn. Three for an of fleet lieutenants mm -hmm. to do five to the base. I will pay three for another super laser technician. Cassian's ability. Vader's ability. One to the base, one to the fleet lieutenant. Uh, sorry, it's fun to the super laser technician. Clean. Mm, I will pass the turn. This reader mm -hmm. do two damage to the base and two to the fleet lieutenant was already damaged. Three to the base. Okay, there's ability. One, two fleet lieutenants. Cassian's ability. Fader's epic action, clean. Five to the base and two. And I'll pass the turn. Rogue Sacrifice, draw a card, 6 to Vader, and then 3 to the base. Four 
to base. Four for aggression. Mm -hmm. uh, draw cards and deal four damage to Darth Vader. Mm -hmm. I'll pass. Okay. Mm, I haven't done any damage to the base yet, right? You have this turn. You have with K two as well. Oh yeah. So casting's ability. I'll pass. Uh, so he has something for Cassian. I will also pass. Great. Be four for K two is on. Attack the base for four. For fights for freedom. Mm -hmm. And for Palpatine, mm -hmm. four to the fighters for freedom and two to K two as well. Cassian. Mm -hmm. Vader's ability, one on Cassian, one on the base. Four to the base, draw a card. Uh, claim the initiative. Pass. Also. 
overwhelming brush. Mm -hmm. So I'll do five to Cassian and the remaining two. Okay, to it. We do three damage to the base. Mm -hmm. Two. Also pay two for Vito's lightsaber on Palpatine. B four for aggression. Uh, defeat the upgrades. Mm -hmm. And um deal four damage to the Belpatine. Eight to the base. to the base. Yep. All right. Good game. Yep. You too. All right. So that was the game. Mm -hmm. Two one for Vader. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And I think this match also shows both. Uh, the strengths of both uh, decks. Mm -hmm. uh, the first game you won, or yeah, um, and you were really aggressive, which, yeah. yeah, double aggression, mm -hmm. um, and you actually uh, defeated me before or during turn seven, yeah, um, which is what you want, as yeah. you said. And in the second and third game, I had quite a bad opening hand. However, I drew my pieces yeah. um, and I was able to come back yeah. uh, because of the ramp. Yeah, because of the ramp and that's yeah. also what makes Vader so strong yeah. or what makes um, Green Villain so strong yeah. is both ECL and uh, Resupply. Yeah. And then uh, you can do things like um, using the epic action of Vader before I can do the epic action of Cassian. Yeah, which happens in... Both, Both games actually. that you won, yeah. yeah, yeah, and when Fader hits the board, then um, it's my job to get him off the board as fast as possible. So then all my resources go to defeating Vader, and then maybe I can do less damage to the base, yeah. and therefore you uh, win the game yeah. um, because of that. So yeah, I think if you play against Vader, then you want to be as aggressive as possible early on, to become the aggressor and stay the aggressor for as long as possible. Mm -hmm. The deck of Vader becomes uh, strong once you hit the seven resource thresholds, mm -hmm. because then you can play uh, the epic action of Vader, but also play Vader the unit himself, yeah. which was also a big swing in the second game, I think. Yeah. And with the Vader's lightsaber. With Vader's lightsaber. 
And now also Vader's lightsaber on Palpatine yeah. was also strong. So luckily I had the aggression legendary. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, um, close games though. Yeah. Yeah, and also I in both games that I won, I had an answer for Cassian. Yeah. So first it was playing the Palpatine. Uh, I had him on my hand, as you said. I had an answer when you were um, in the turn that you could play Cassian. Yeah. Um, however, then you played two units, which I then defeated with Ka uh, with uh, Emperor Palpatine. Palpatine. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it was uh, it was a fun match. Yeah. I would say. I will also do a deck tech soon of my Vader deck. Yeah. As said before, it's not the most optimal optimal version, as in competitive wise. It has um, all of the yeah force, force users. users and also the force uh, events. Yeah. So it's a really fun deck to play, and it's actually decently strong. So yeah, stay tuned for that deck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the conclusion for Cassian is that it definitely has legs. It is, uh, first of all, a fun deck to play. Mm -hmm. So, and as these three games showed that it actually has a decent chance of defeating Vader, yeah. or even defeating Vader once. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, I cannot wait to uh, go to round two for this uh, Cassian training round video. Yeah. So I'm curious to see what deck that you are going to build for the second round. Yeah, me too, no clue yet. So for the Cassian training we'll round. See. Yeah, and I do think that after one match, it's uh, way too early to uh, yeah, make some conclusions about Cassian or switch uh, cards, mm -hmm. uh, but against uh, maybe a completely different deck yep. uh, to see how it goes against a more of control type deck yep. maybe. And after that game, we can start to make some conclusions about some of the cards that are in the deck. Yeah. And maybe swap them for other cards. Yeah. So I think that we can conclude this video. Yeah. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe to stay tuned for our future videos. And for now, um, have a nice day and see you next time. Bye. Goodbye.